the Israelis treat the lives of Palestinians much better than Hamas do. Um, that's a really important point that's overlooked. Just brushed aside. No, everything's brushed aside. That's there were 17 members of the Israeli parliament. I can't pronounce it's it. Knesset. Knesset. Uh, who were Arab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Where, I mean, are, the, where speakers, are the Jews Arab embedded judges? In, in, in Arabic nations' governments? Absolutely. Is? Well, I mean, and, and, and let's get to the, the one, of the, one of the chants we've heard across our cities in recent weeks, from the river to the sea. Yeah. From the river to the sea means, and again, most people can't even point to it on a map, and many non-Muslims wouldn't know what they were talking about as they were saying that chant. But the river is the River Jordan, the sea is the Mediterranean. If so-called Palestine is from the river to the sea, uh, that means eradication of the Jewish state. Are there any Jews in Palestine? No. No, the Palestinian state will be Judenrein, mm. to use Hitler's phrase. Um, Hamas have said that they will slaughter every last Jew. Their leader said it again only two days ago. Because they're victims. They're claiming to be victims. I thought the Jews so were the victims Hamas, after the Holocaust. Hamas, Hamas has said it will slaughter every last Jew. And the Palestinian Authority has said there can be no Jews in their state. So, if the world wants to create a Palestinian state, it will be a Nazi state in which no Jew is allowed to live. I'm not on board with that. So, so is this Israel's war or is it in fact our war as well? It's the world's war. It's a civilized world's war. It's a civilized world's war uh, for many reasons. One is you know, we've had chants on the streets of London in recent days for Intifada. We've had Intifada in this country. We had it on our tubes and buses in 2005. We had it when a car bomb was placed outside a nightclub down the road from here in 2007. We had it when drummer Lee Rigby was beheaded in broad daylight in 2013 in London. We had it when a suicide bomber went into the Manchester Arena in 2017 and blew up 23 young girls with a suicide vest. We had Intifada on the streets of London, on Westminster Bridge, on Tower Bridge, on London Bridge, when we had people rushing across London Bridge with knives, shouting Allahu Akbar again, this war cry, while slitting the throat of a pregnant woman. We've had Intifada on our streets. Anyone who thinks Intifada stops in Israel is a fool comes to Australia, Britain, and everywhere else too. That's the first thing. The second thing is we have to decide whether or not we have any courage to stand up for ourselves as a civilization. And if somebody says, we, our plan is to rid the world of Jews, as Hamas want to do, then I'm sorry, we have to tap into the same strength that our forefathers had and say, okay, our forefathers fought Nazism before, we will have to fight this Nazism. And we will see it off just as our forefathers saw off the earlier Nazism. Hamas and their friends are Nazis, and we'll have to get rid of them. And the Israelis are doing a very good job in the beginning of that, but everyone's going to have to join in. We cannot live with these people. We can't. Not because we don't want to, but because they cannot live with us.